So today is Christmas, aka the first day of the 2016 Stanley Cup playoffs. Uh, probably the best day of the year where we're going to be entering two months full of blood, sweat, and tears. The epic battle that is known as the Stanley Cup playoffs. And it all goes down tonight with three games. Uh, they're all scattered start times, which is awesome. At 7 p.m., we have Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Detroit Red Wings. At 8 p.m., we have the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the New York Rangers. And at 9.30 p.m., we have the St. Louis versus the Chicago Blackhawks, which I think is going to be a really good and competitive series. And a lot of experts and analytics guys have been picking St. Louis over Chicago, which is really interesting. Some analytics guys have also picked Philly over Washington as an upset, which also really surprised me because from watching Philly this year, I have not been that impressed, but they've been really hot down the stretch, and Washington's been cold. However, we know that Braden Holtby plays really well in the playoffs, so I think he can be a factor. Another pick that I noticed that people were choosing was some peop um, people were choosing San, Lu San, um, San Jose over LA. However, most people did seem to think LA would win the cup. And based on pure stats, LA has the best chance. Pittsburgh has the second best chance because LA has the best puck possession stats in the league. That team is a machine. They're built for playoffs. So I'd be hard pressed to bet against them. But San Jose looks a lot better this year. And if they lose the first two games, James Reimer could come in and play really well. And he was very good against a Bruins team when he and the Leafs were heavily unmatched two years ago. So I'll look out for that. Definitely some intriguing stories. I think the Jonathan Druen storyline's fascinating. Him along with Pavel Datsuk could be Pavel Datsuk's swan fun male. NHL Jonathan Druen's now got to step up, showing that he belongs, especially in the absence of Steven Stamkos and possibly Tyler Johnson. I think Nikita Kucherov's also injured, but he may be back. So... Tampa Bay, initially they were my pick. They were my pick to come out of the East. I had them actually winning the cup over Anaheim in the cup final. However, I've changed it out with my bracket because I just, their injuries are too much. It's too hard to overcome injuries in the Stanley Cup playoffs. As we know with the Penguins, it's way too hard. I, I do think they'll take off Detroit, and I do think they'll beat Florida in the second round, although some people have Florida beating them, but then ultimately... I see them losing in the conference finals, the Penguins, just because they're too injured. If they can even make it to conference finals being really injured, I, I would say there's a testament to that team and Ben Bishop as well because he deserves a lot of credit. He's had a very good season. He's a great goaltender. So that's another interesting storyline I'm being intrigued to know about. But basically, uh, so the Penguins ended the season. They lost 3-1. It was a meaningless game. They didn't really play at all their star players anyway. The Islanders, I think this is hilarious. The Islanders purposely did not dress all their star players and pulled Thomas Grice the game early so they could finish lower than the Rangers and avoid Pittsburgh while having to face Florida, which I think is just hilarious. Teams do not want to play Pittsburgh because they are so scared of them. A far cry from a year ago. However, I don't think Florida is going to be an easy task. I actually have Florida beating them in six games. I just am not convinced on the Andros team. Thomas Christ has had a great season. I just don't know if he's he's the guy you want to answer your team in playoffs. Uh, Luongo has more experience. He's a heck of a good goalie. He's made it to the Stanley Cup final. Yamari Yager has also been through it all. He's won a Stanley Cup, two Stanley Cups. So... That and that that um, Panthers team has a lot of young guys coming up and looking really good. So I think that in hindsight, maybe that was a bad idea on the Islanders' part. I think I, I think they were screwed either way. I, mean, I guess against Florida, they have a better chance, but I don't think they're going to beat Florida any more than beat Pittsburgh. But at least against Florida, maybe they can be somewhat delusional, whereas against Pittsburgh, they're like, no, nah, we have a chance. So I thought that was funny. Anyway, so pick. So uh, regarding the Penguins, I have them beating the Rangers in six games. The only way I see the Rangers winning is this long fist stance on his head. That's just absolutely sensational, which I think he could be, um, which does worry me because we all know how unreal Lundqvist is in the playoffs. However, the Penguins have seemed to have gone out under his skin, rounded him a little bit. They know his buttons. And the Rangers, I don't think they'll be able to, to match the Penguins' speed to counter their attack. Um, the Penguins are just too fast. The only thing is maybe the Rangers will know how to slow down Hagelin since he used to play there. But I think overall system-wise and everything, especially since Penguins has home ice advantage, they'll get the matchup, which is really important. So Mike Sullivan can put out the guys he wants. And having Ole Mata back is going to be huge with Chris Letang. And Fleury is also expected to play tonight, which I think will be a lot closer of a goaltending match than people imagine because Fleury's really picked up his game and played better lately. And 
I don't think we'll be seeing as many shots as Lundqvist. And while Lundqvist stealing the series does worry me, I mean, he's not superhuman, you know. I, I don't think he can carry out maybe 50 shots per game over seven games. It's a highly unlikely he could, but it's highly unlikely and to actually have them win and do that. So I think it'll probably be a close, close scoring series. I don't think there'll be any blowouts. He will keep it close, but ultimately Penguin's just too good. And there, I think they'll come out of it as to most people. And most people seem to think that they'll uh, at least make it to the conference finals or the finals. Um, some people think we won a cup, which is interesting from the Penguins teams in the past. Detroit, Tampa, Tampa wins it in seven. Simple. Detroit's not very good. Tampa hasn't been good lately. But Tampa's still better, and they have the edge in goaltending. Islanders, Florida. Florida in six. Islanders can maybe squeeze a couple in, but really, they're not very good. Florida's looked real good. I'm impressed with them. Down the stretch, their puck possessions really improved a lot. I'd take Florida. Washington, Philly. Again, most pe- a lot of people have been picking Philly to upset Washington. Um, I don't see that happening. I mean, Steve Mason doesn't hold a candle to break. He'll be Washington just has too many weapons. They're just too big, too skilled. And uh, Braden Holtby's just been really good this year. So I say Washington and five for that. On to the West, LA, San Jose. I think this one's going to be a lot closer than people think. Some people think. I think San Jose is going to make a fight out of it. They're going to want revenge for when LA pulled the reverse sweep on them two seasons ago. The year they went on to win the Stanley Cup. It seems like every year they win the Stanley Cup, which is some sort of story. But San Jose was up 3 0 in the series. They looked to have LA on the ropes and they just choked. And LA ended up winning 4-3. That was the year they stripped Joe Thornton of his captaincy, stripped Marlowe, stripped everyone of all the letters and gave everyone new letters. Because that year, it, I, I don't think it was Joe Thornton's fault, but that year was just brutal. I, I don't understand how they lost that. It was one of only four times in history that's happened. I think LA will win it in seven. I still think they get the edge just because they're built for the playoffs. They're just a machine. They just, they know how to win and it's just success over every time. And they're a very good puck possession team, but they're also physical, which is an interesting combination. Next series, Minnesota-Dallas. Minnesota doesn't have a chance. They're really not very good. They haven't impressed me. I see this again, five-game series for Dallas. Dallas can score like nobody's business. They can score the way out of any game. Their goaltending is never good, but if they can, they win six, five games, it doesn't matter. Next series, Chicago-St. Louis. Again, a lot of people have picked St. Louis. They do have the better number. Chicago is vulnerable, but I just, I can't pick St. Louis. Every year I pick them, they just they disappoint me. I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. Although I do think Tarasenko Kane will be a very fun matchup. So I'm picking Hawks in seven. The last matchup, Anaheim, Nashville. Again, Nashville is very good, but Rene has not had a good season. I don't see him turning it around for playoffs. They both have very good defense, but Anaheim probably is some of the best defense tandems, in, the best defense in the league. Perry and Getzloff have just been on fire lately. I would say Anaheim wins that in six games. Ultimately, for the Stanley Cup, I have Anaheim and Pittsburgh facing off in my bracket. I have Anaheim winning it. I don't know how many games it would be, probably like six or seven, but I have ultimately Anaheim winning it. I just think Anaheim's... They Pittsburgh, while Pittsburgh has a speed game, I just think Anaheim can wear them down with their physicality. They're just too, too, uh, they have that nice, like, LA mean edge and physical edge. And I picked them initially to go to the final, so I feel like I should stick with them. So I think this is fun year the year they win it, despite having young goaltending. So that's all I have for this video. Please like if you like, subscribe if you really like it. Do you agree with my picks? What do you think? Put your picks in the end of bar below, put your brackets. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you all after the first game tomorrow. All right, let's go Penguins.